Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a video that came out in January, uh, or early January, and uh, I've never seen anything like this. And, you know, I, if I had to guess, I would say this is U.S. military. Uh, let's see. Got another video that just recently came out. I mean, this is a little blurry, but this kind of looks um, like the uh, uh, like the New Jersey um, blimp, or what people thought was the blimp video. We'll take a look at that. Let's see. Also, have this video from Reddit taken from Sweden. Uh, this is an older video. Uh, of something that comes out of out of uh, from planet Earth and uh, was captured by um, I think it's the International Space Station or one of the um, space shuttles. Also have this photo here that was uh, taken by a pilot in Italy, 1979, cigar shaped or tube shaped UFO craft. Uh, here is something that just came out of TMZ, believe it or not. Uh, a bunch of people in L.A. apparently saw this. I mean, they're calling it a giant mothership. But, uh, you know, it ran on TMZ, of all places. And uh, let's see. Also have this um, interesting video here about the oldest civilizations in mainstream history. And, you know, at this point, I think it's... Um, been pretty well established that there were uh, several advanced civilizations on planet Earth that, um, you know, the uh, the intelligentsia or academia just refuses to acknowledge. I also have this video with uh, Stephen Bassett talking about um, how UFO disclosure is imminent. And, you know, like I say, I mean, to me, disclosure has been happening for the past 30, 40 years. So I don't know what they're going to tell us unless they're going to tell us that you know we're not alone on the planet uh let's see and then last i have this article here about the u.s military secretly built an artificial brain called the sentient you know take a look at that they don't really want to talk about it but uh someone got some information on it we'll take a look at it so anyways uh let me go to this first video here you know this came out on january 8th i'm surprised i didn't uh hear anything about it, but take a look at this. I mean, this looks so real to me, but, but you know, in one, in one sense, I don't want to believe it's real because, I mean, look at this thing. Yeah, look at that. This looks like something out of Star Wars. You know, and I don't know if this is flames or if this is um, uh, some type of uh, effect, side effect of, um, you know, whatever propulsion system they're using. But this is a crazy um, video, if, you know, if you ask me. Look at this thing. And I don't know how they determine how huge it was. But anyways, uh, I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out. Let's watch this one here. Oh, wonderful. Another graduate of the uh, filmmaking school of vertical cinematography. But anyways, uh, you know, with this one, let me turn this. Look at all these people who are who are also videotaping this. I mean, it, it, is this the um, the New Jersey footage? And, you know, and, and for the people who want to claim that this is a the blimp, this was, yeah, if this is from the New Jersey one, and the people that say this is a blimp, how, how often has a blimp, you know, as many years as the Goodyear blimp has been uh, floating around in our skies, when was, when was the last time hundreds of people decided to pull over on the side of the road and, you know, you uh, whip out their cell phones to take footage of the Goodyear blimp? I'd have to assume all these people are taking this footage because this is not the Goodyear blimp and they recognize it as not being the Goodyear blimp. Otherwise, why would anyone, why would anyone videotape it? Um, 
anyways, uh, let me go on to this next uh, video here. This one says it's out of Sweden. Oh, initially I thought it was the, the light, the bright thing that he was videotaping, but no, this is something else. Yeah, this object looks like it's moving very, very slowly. Yeah, you know, stuff like this, this could be anything. You know, I can't necessarily um, say that it's extraterrestrial or, you know, some type of event. It could just be a balloon floating in the sky. Who knows? But uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, this video here has definitely been out for uh, a while. Check this out. This is, I guess, I don't know if this is like the STS or if this is the uh, International Space Station. But look at these. There's these actually, there's going to be two objects. Now, if this footage is real, um, which I'm going to assume it is real, you know, these objects came from Earth. They didn't come from some faraway galaxy, and they definitely didn't come from the future. Did you hear what it, yeah, and they just, and the astronauts here talk about how these things, you know, tag along with us. Obviously, whoever is filming this, um, yeah, they're, they're paying attention to whatever, you know, whatever these things are for sure. But anyways, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check that out. Now, this is just a video about this photograph. So I don't think we have to, you know, watch the whole. the whole thing but you know this doesn't this looks like a uh, artist rendition oh yeah I think this is the actual photograph and this must be some kind of drawing when the pilot closed on the object it made up and lowed down movements at 1,000 feet at a time climbing up to 13,000 feet yeah look at that thing again you know this is a uh, YouTube video I can't play too much of a uh, someone else's video but I of course I will leave a link you can check that out uh, let me go to this video here. This is from TMZ of all places. Alleged UFO sighting. Clear shot of the mothership on outskirts of L.A. We got another UFO sighting on our hands here in L.A., folks. But this one stands alone as it offers some of the best clear shots we've seen of what appears. Well, you make the call. An eyewitness shot these photos last Saturday while heading south on the 101 freeway just outside of Thousand Oaks as she was approaching Westlake Village around sunset. We're told she was on her phone when she saw this thing hovering in the sky, flying in the same direction she was heading, with a group of lights trailing behind it. You know, if she was traveling on the 101, how come there aren't more people? I would have to imagine that there would have been a lot more people who, who had to have seen this if it was on the 101. But uh, she's the only person that submitted anything. Um, yeah, I have not heard of anything in the, or you have anyone else taking shots of this. This has just happened on the 30th, which was yesterday. So, yeah, only one person decided to take a photo of something that was seen from a freeway or up in the sky. I mean, you know, what about all the residents? Not just the people on the freeway, but, you know, Shouldn't there have been at least one other person who took this photo and then submitted it someplace? And I would like to think that if someone else would have submitted this, I would have found it because, I mean, this is what I do. I look for these videos. You know, but if anyone else knows anything about this or um, has seen someone else submit it, please um, 
post in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. This video here, just um, the oldest, actually I haven't had a chance to watch the whole thing. Oldest civilizations and mainstream history. Let's check out what this guy has to say. Go slowly until I see Suavarian. So now in Europe, we've got the Azilian, Suavarian, and Swadarian advanced cultures that archaeologists have collected data on and prove that these cultures existed. So we're still, um, now we're after the cataclysmic era, so we're just going to go into the Bronze Age naturally. I'm going to stop at the embryonic civilization. When does Sumer become? Okay, 85. It's coming soon. Right now it's pre-pottery, whatever that means. Fayum still exists. 84, 83, now we have something going on up here. 82, and now we have Newman. I wonder where he's getting all of this information from. Was this Atlanta? Share your findings here. My personal channel. Okay, this guy has a bunch of curious, but he's not really saying where he's getting this information from. I've never heard of these Neiman, Suvarian, Azilian. I guess, I mean, I, I definitely believe that there were advanced civilizations on this planet, but... Um, I'd like to know where this guy is getting all of this information from. But anyways, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. You could check it out. Uh, this is a video of uh, Steve, Stephen Bassett talking about how, you know, he feels that UFO disclosure is imminent. Um, and look at this date. This is from 2011. This was 10 years ago. He's talking about UFO disclosures imminent and we're... Still, I mean, from a government perspective, you know, we're, we're nowhere. Um, again, you know, and in this, he talks about how mainstream media, how their attitude has changed. And yes, it has changed. But in literally 10 years, where are we? I, you know, again, I'm, I'm not waiting for disclosure. I don't need the government to tell me what I already know. I'm, I am not institutionalized. I have the ability to think critically and I have the ability to think for myself. So based on all the evidence that has been presented, I have determined by myself that there are UFOs out there and that we're not alone on the planet. I don't need a daddy figure to tell me, you know, what, what I can believe or that it's okay to believe that UFOs or that somehow if some lying politician comes on and says, yes, UFOs are real, then suddenly that validates all, you know, everything that I already know. No, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I am not one of the mindless sheep out there. I can make up my own mind about the whole UFO phenomenon. But anyways, um, you know, check out this video. Like I said, you know, it's, a, it's an old video, but it just goes to show how if you're waiting for the government, yeah, just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Uh, let's see. Let's go to this last article here. The U.S. military secretly built an artificial brain called the sentient. Since 2010, various U.S. agencies have been developing a top secret artificial intelligence system that they called sentient, a term that translates as conscious or endowed with senses. The document, Confidential and Classified, recently published by The Verge, describes the program Sentient National Reconnaissance Office as an intelligence system, fully integrated system that can coordinate satellite positions and will soon be used to manage operations in the battlefield during military clashes. Yeah, this is not written properly here. You know. Restricted access to the artificial brain called the sentient. Even now, details about the sentient program are few and far between, and government officials provide minimal answers to direct questions about what the AI systems can do and how it can be used in future conflicts. The standard practice of the NRO and intelligence community is to not disclose sensitive sources and methods, as such disclosures present a high risk of being countered by adversary nations, said NRO Deputy Director of Public Affairs Karen Ferguson to The Verge. Such loss hurts our nations and its allies. It diminishes the information advantage and national security of the United States. For those reasons, the details about sentient remain classified and what we can say about it is limited. 
Ultimately, such secrecy means that this artificial brain could be implemented without people knowing and the algorithms with all their built-in biases could be leading military conflicts in the near future. Yeah, so I wonder if this thing is being implemented currently. You know, I just found this article and, uh, you know, based on the title, I thought it was interesting. But, you know, going through it, it isn't really giving me a date of um, when it actually came out. There are some older articles down here from 2019 and 2017. But um, this article isn't giving me any indication of when it came out. And there aren't any comments up about it. So, I, yeah, I assume that this just recently came out. But... Um, now I'm not too, so sure, you know, and they are saying that this has uh, been happening since 2010, which is, you know, at this point, it's 11 years. But um, anyways, I will leave a link in the description and you can check it out. And, um, you know, it says that this, this, the original source was from this uh, futurism. But uh, I will leave a link to this article here. You can check it out. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.